he say how, how far he was? He just said he was stuck in traffic. Just, just, just stuck in traffic. I, I'm sure I just turned off. I did. No, just a little late. He didn't say specifically. So. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sure he got too far. You can get started. Sure. Good evening, gentlemen. It's the time is 6:05. Um, we can go ahead and begin tonight's meeting. Um, start with the pledge of allegiance. We usually do that first, and then you want to roll call afterwards. Yeah, pledge of allegiance, pledge of moment of silence, and then I'll do the roll call. Okay. We'll stand for the pledge of allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll now observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Jay, you'll do roll call. All right. Cartier, Roland. Here. Flanagan, William. Here. Nathan Freeling, not here, but is on his way. Gaffney, James. Guigere, no. Jim Hall, James. McDevitt, he's, he's no longer Mitchell Adam, okay. um, Peasley may be on his way, but he's not here yet. Van Andeth, here. Van Kyle. Yeah, I'm pleased that our second in command is here tonight. Uh, uh, November 11th was Veterans Day, and it was also and at Van's first day on patrol as a, uh, as a duly sworn in uh, city of Lowell police officer. And she was also among, and she, she successfully completed the academy and was the elected president of her class at the academy. So I think uh, w without objection, I think we'd all to join in congratulating her and, and job well done. I like how you snuck that in there, Jay. It's not on the agenda, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so we'll uh, continue on here with the approval of the uh, meeting minutes from um, our last meeting, but you have it as 10, 10, we? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't meet in November, so it would be October's meeting. So do we have a motion on October's meeting minutes? Motion? No. Uh, do we have a second? All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Unanimous vote. All right. Okay. Um, next on the agenda, we have it as uh, old business, but I'd like to think of it as ongoing business, um, where we all, I always in, encourage us to uh, keep our sights and eyes and ears open on you know anything that's going on uh, pertaining to veteran suicide prevention. Um, I came across something that if we had our Facebook page, you would see it as well. But um, I came across a post that uh, I thought might uh, be good to share with the public, uh, those watching, and if you guys would like to share. Uh, they call it the Veterans Talking Circle. Uh, it's to be held Saturday, December 22nd from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, located on 15 Milford Street in Upton, Mass. Um, and that's about a 45-minute drive, I think, from us. But if um, there's anybody that we know, um, anybody that we would like to share that with that might have family or friends that uh, would be interested in attending something like that, I think that's uh, a great opportunity for veterans to reach out to other veterans and, um, and have just kind of a uh, supportive gathering. Um, it looks like that 
that's what they partake in. So again, that's Saturday, December 22nd from 10 to 12, 15 Milford Street in, in Upton. Um, in our new business, I was hoping that we would uh, meet with Sheena Bice today, um, or tonight. Unfortunately, she, can't, she had to cancel last minute. She had some challenges um, with her schedule uh, that she, she wasn't able to, uh, to, to make work with, with our meeting. So she asked to po postpone it until next year, which I thought might have been best anyways. It's a difficult time of the year um, with the holidays and so forth. So I will reach back out with her um, after the new year. Uh, but she is still very much on board, and she's continuously looks forward to, to making it. But her schedule and our schedules, it uh, doesn't, doesn't always work. So hopefully we'll get to meet her after the new year. Um, let's see what we have here. The Connolly Square, do you want to, do you, Jay, want to speak on the uh, Dope Boy statue? Yeah, I think, uh, Adam, you had said that you would wanted to. Uh, oh, yeah. do, do, you have a, do you have a motion or anything? Or? Yeah. So, first motion was that I uh, feel that uh, the Veterans Commission should be the body that would be included with anything that has to do with veterans memorials. Um, and the second, uh, I can read it out if you want or... Oh, sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it would be through you, Mr. Chairman, to the City Manager and the City Council. I motion that the Veterans Commission be the body included and representing the veteran community in any and all discussions and decisions regarding monuments proposed or currently dedicated in the city to or for veterans. Uh, and then that way we can make sure that uh, the past veterans are still respected now. I think that's part of what we're here for. Um, so that would be the first motion. Then the second motion was through you, uh, Mr. Chairman, I uh, request or respectfully request the city manager, city council, city council parks subcommittee, the development services, parks, planning and development study the feasibility of having the 9-11 first responder and I was thinking a global war and terror memorial installed at the corner of Fletcher and Cross Street either next to the city pool or closer to the basketball court on the North Common. That way we don't have to move the current Doughboy statue and just do something across the street basically from the firefighters club. The, um, is that the alternative location that they're proposing now? No, I don't think there is one. They, oh, actually, I take that back. It was further up the street on the common. Uh, there's an, like a seating area I think they were considering. So it would be completely out of the um, the square that was dedicated to the uh, to the soldiers at the time. Um, through the chair, to you, uh, uh, just uh, some background information. It is now. It was at the city council, and, and it was referred to the uh, subcommittee on parks, where it, where it is right now. And I did talk to the chair of the subcommittee on parks, and she did advise. Councilor Mercy, and she did advise that uh, she would keep us informed of any developments, if there were any major votes or other developments, that she would uh, she would she would let it, let us know. So that's that's where it where it is right now. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, um, your two motions are you looking to? address that with the commission tonight and have, or seeing as how you, um, you just stated that uh, Councilor Mercier is, mm. will keep us yeah, posted, it, is that I, not I had originally intended to, to present these last month, but we hadn't been able to meet, so it's, it's, it's a month old, at least. Um, I, I, I like motion one. Uh, I might even expand it a little bit. Uh, we had an experience a couple of months ago mm -hmm. uh, when there was a uh, there was that working uh, abatement legislation, which was before the city council, and we found out found out about it that day that it was mm -hmm. being voted on. So I think uh, 
you know, maybe just something, maybe even expand that a little bit that anything affecting veterans should be, uh, that the committee should be on the notice list for yeah. all of them. I think that would, I, I'd certainly be in favor of that. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, can we separate the two motions and get seconds on the motions and discuss the motions separately? Sure. Uh, sure. I, I, uh, could you read? Uh, So as I, as I was saying, can we take the first motion, can we have a second on the first motion? Second. And discuss them and vote on the motions in order, or we could amend the first motion to include the second motion, <laughs> however the, the maker of the motion would prefer. And then we'll take it from there. Well, the, the first one was that, um, uh, let me get back. So I, through the chairman to the city manager and city council, the motion is that uh, the Veterans Commission be uh, the body or a body included in representing the veteran community in any and all discussions and decisions regarding monuments proposed or currently dedicated in the city to or for veterans. So essentially, any veteran memorial, we would be the go-to as far as are you going to move it, you're going to you know, make any changes to it, anything of that nature. That way we can respect the veterans of whatever era that monument is representing. Essentially, yeah. yeah. Aye. I'm all for that. Yes. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you have it in writing? Do I have what? You have it written? Do you have it written? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can provide a copy to you. I had a. Here's the firefighters club, here's the current monument. Mm -hmm. And they want to move it basically up the street across from this little restaurant here. I think to that pad. Mr. Chairman, can I ask Eric a question? It's, you should it's, <laughs> ask yeah. Anthony, yeah. this is the chair. Eric, uh, the committee that's formed on the dedication of memorials for veterans. Have they been involved in this discussion? The, uh, memorial, Square? the memorial Square Committee is different. It, it doesn't have any relationship with the actual memorials that are in the city. It's only for the street signs. Only that They only verify that the veteran is eligible to receive the honor of having a square named after them, but it, it, nothing, no actual memorials. Uh, when the firefighters first started to discuss moving the Doughboy statue from one location to the other location, was your office involved in the discussion at all? I have very limited um, inf uh, information on the subject. Yeah. It seems ironic that you know, the firefighters took it upon themselves to, to move that statue uh, and it created quite a controversy within the city, even amongst the fire department themselves. Uh, there are some members that are in favor of it and some members that aren't in favor of it. And it seems unfortunate that it created uh, the discussion that it did uh, because it seems it was a fixed, dedicated location. Uh, and now the 9-11 monument, which is really something bigger than the fire department, uh, because it involves the responders, which is the fire department, the police department, the EMTs, 
uh, and it, it should be a citywide memorial, not dedicated to one of the responders, you know, and it really should be something that's in a fixed city location. Uh, and I think the uh, fire department members opened a can of worms, which is unfortunate because it brings some discredit to that element, you know, it's unfortunate. Yeah. And it was never intended to bring this much controversy, adverse controversy, you know, which will linger longer than uh, the change of location of the Doughboy statue. Yeah. Thank you. I think there were multiple uh, articles and letters just into the sun yeah. on the subject. So are we going to table the second motion? Um, yeah. Okay. Oh. On the first one. Uh, we have not voted on the first one yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, I uh, go ahead and uh, let's see. I'd like to offer amend an amendment for discussion where it says co proposed or currently dedicated to the city or for veterans. Uh, should be the body included representing the And that the Veterans Commission be notified of any other matters affecting uh, affecting veterans uh, within the city. We add so as to have the opportunity to provide input. I'm sorry? So as to have the opportunity to provide input. Yeah. Yep. And that the Veterans Commission be notified and have the opportunity to be heard on other matters affecting veterans? Sounds good. That sounds good, unless anybody yeah. opposes or. Sorry. That sounds. It's fine, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the vote would be on the motion as amended? Yes, sir. Anyone call for the motion? Call for a second. Uh, do we need another second or another? No. No, all right. No. So we just need a vote. Yeah. So I think you just call for a vote. How do you? I mean, I, I think everybody is, is in agreement here, but just to make it official, we'll call for a vote. Sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. Uh, so next, uh, the Veterans Brunch, we um, have an after-action report. Um, unfortunately, given the time um, constraints and um, other matters uh, that we weren't, unfortunately, able to kind of wrap our heads and hands around in time for our um, initial uh, date that we had set for December for the Veterans Brunch, um, we uh, thought that it would be in the best interest of the uh, Commission's efforts as, more importantly, for the veterans that we would like to serve, uh, that we postpone it until after the new year, um, possibly maybe now in the spring springtime, um, so that that way we have a better chance in uh, holding a more successful uh, event. I, we, we just agreed that um, we would do a disservice to the veterans if we kind of rush through it and, and plan everything through. So we will, uh, we, we would like to continue to follow up. I'll be in touch with the, uh, with Adam and Norm who were the initial, and Eric who were the initial uh, members that uh, met offline uh, to discuss plans for this party or this brunch. Um, so we'll continue to do that. Uh, next, uh, after that is the Veteran of the Month Outreach. Um, 
Jay Gaffney, you'd like to discuss? No, I, I, don't, I don't think any discussion is really required. I think I indicated, uh, I indicated some of the additional uh, additional outreach, outreach efforts I'd made, uh, but I just, if anybody has any other other organizations, any other any other methods of uh, reaching out for further nominations, you, you could just share them with me on share share them with me off offline, and I'll follow up. So motion, motion two is still. That's what I wondered if we were tabling it, or if we, were, or if that amendment no. was going was going to go to include the second. Basically, the second one was to uh, ask the city to to look at the feasibility of actually having the memorial on that corner. Um, it may not be allowed. I don't know. I'm just asking if it if it can be looked at to 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 establish if if something can be put there, and if so, should we go and expand it into, like you were saying, the open it up to the 9/11 first responder community as well as the global war on terror community? Because if you think of 9/11, it really brought us all together into into this situation. That I don't. Mm. That I did not know about. This uh, memorial, it is not, it was, my understanding is it's a 9-11 memorial, and despite the fact that the firefighters, because of their heroism and sacrifice on that 9-11, you have a special identification with it. My, my understanding was that it was a general 9-11 memorial. Mm -hmm. The one that's planned for Connolly Square. But, hmm? I'm not sure what that memorial is. I am aware that there's a memorial at the corner of Pawtucket and Fletcher, but I'm not sure what it's dedicated with the. I mean, once we agree on this, do we just forward it to I the city manager? Like I there? think we just voted on the communication and opportunity to be heard, I think. Yeah, I mean, we, we could definitely table it. That's fine. Because now knowing that you, you think there's one over at UMass, definitely would want to know about that um, and figure out what it's about. And uh, if we're just duplicating, then I don't think we should. Mr. Chairman, uh, two questions. Uh, first. Uh, you, you keep saying Mr. Chairman, and I keep answering it, and it's, and it's the end of it. Just two questions. First, uh, I, as I understand it, the memorial to 9-11 at the university that Mr. Hall talked about was for the university alumni that perished on 9-11 okay. in the flight. And the one I'm thinking of, his father owned the gasoline station at the corner of Pawtucket and Fletcher. All right. Okay. Okay. It was specifically to him and other alumni or alumni relatives that perished on the flights. Okay, so that's the memorial over there. Uh, now, Eric, does the city still give out community development block grant awards? Could I just 
I think you'd need to, uh, we'd need to inquire with uh, planning and development. Okay, my question is this. Usually they put out announcements sometime in midwinter mm -hmm. asking for organizations that intend to submit grant applications. Is it possible that your department put a grant application together to do a survey of all the monuments in all the memorials in Lowell where part of the grant application is to put together a team, not necessarily from your office, where you would use interns to do the survey and the interns would be paid through the grant to do an inventory of all the memorials in Lowell that are veteran related that would include monuments like the 9-11 memorial that the university has and other memorials scattered throughout the city. I could, uh, could be a database. I can inquire with planning and development. We do not, there are three people in my department. We do not have any grant writers. No, um, I, I'm, that's I, what the purpose of the grant no, would be. I understand. We, do, we would need a grant writer to, but I, that's why I'm suggesting that we go to uh, Department of Planning and Development. Um, they are equipped with the, that personnel, and I, can, I, I think maybe I could propose this to them, um, and I could have an answer for the next meeting. The yeah. intern would put the grant to gr write the grant, <coughs> and if the grant is funded, the intern would go out in the field, one or two, to do the survey and develop inventory of the memorials within the city, uh, and it would be the database for us, the Veterans Commission, and also any other agency that are looking to find out where all these memorials are. Now, Dick Howe, what he wanted to do was to have some form of uh, recognition in the year 2018 of all the 1918 memorials that were created to honor World War I veterans that died. There are a lot of squares that were for uh, the World War I veterans. You know? So it would be nice. In, in fact, probably one of the things that could be done was to create a little booklet that the Veterans Commission could have published uh, that we could use. It could be one of the sources of revenue. Sell so for a dollar or two. Uh, things like that. Maybe when the CDPG announcement of grant awards go out there, uh, you can probably have this inventory completed. You understand what I'm getting at? I understand. Can you look into that? I will ask uh, planning and development if we can, if they would be able to support that. I will, I, will, I will inquire with the planning and development to see if they would be willing to assist our office in grant writing. Yes. We need, uh, I, Bill, is this just a request or do you want to make it in the form of a motion or? or? And does that, and does that kind of coincide with Adams? I mean, because. I think it should be. If. I'd be glad to make the motion that the uh, commission look into submitting, if possible, a CDBG grant application at the next round for an application to do a study of all monuments within the city that are veteran related uh, to find out exactly where they're located. Second. Sorry. 
and part of this motion is to direct a veteran service officer and a staff to uh, inquire through division planning and development the availability of grant application funding. Second. And to report at the next meeting <laughs> what this process would be. Still second. Mm. All right, unless anybody else has anything to add, um, we'll move on. Next um, on our agenda is the VA clinic. Um, information only for now. Uh, Jay, you have that. Do you want to spend a couple minutes to discuss no, that? I don't have anything to add to it except that when I was there, I did speak to the director and she indicated that she would respond to a... Uh, invitation to address the uh, commission at some time in the future. But I think that duplicates something that you did too, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Adam? I thought you said you had a speaker from the... Uh... There, was, there was a possibility of having a speaker uh, for the last meeting, but um, I haven't been to the clinic in a couple of weeks. I was doing the... They have two programs there I was doing, and uh, I haven't been there in a couple of weeks, so I'd, I'd have to check back in with that person. So if uh, somebody wanted me or Adam to follow up with that, we could do it. Definitely. <coughs> Does that go along with the um, what are, FNR agenda, meeting with New England, Bedford, Boston VA? Does that? No, uh, no that was separate. separate. I, the, the thought here, uh, in, it was in speaking with someone at the actually a few people, but um, in particular one person at the CBOC, uh, the idea kind of came out that you know, it would be nice to have a meeting with the Veterans Commission in Lowell, but also all the nonprofits in the city and the um, New England, Bedford, and Boston, um, I would say probably management kind of discuss what we can do, not only in this city, but in, in this area to improve, uh, you know, improve on reducing veteran homelessness, drug addiction, uh, unemployment, things of that nature. What, what can we do here and bring all these groups together into one meeting and kind of hash things out and have a discussion? And, and uh, that's the, I guess, the focus of it. I don't know if that's possible. I know everybody's got different schedules, but I'm, I'm thinking probably it would take a few months to put together. Does anybody use the VA in, in, in Lowell? The CBOC? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. And Bill Barker is a real good guy to, yeah. to start up with. He's a social worker there. There is a veteran subcommittee meeting that happens every month. Um, this past month, I was not there. Uh, my member of my staff was there. Um, and they discuss all sorts of uh, veterans homelessness. And maybe, perhaps, I, I could include someone from the commission um, in the, the email chain. Uh, happens, it used to happen at uh, planning and development. Um, and now, uh, the last one was at the, uh, um, the Crescent House. Um, but I can include, I'll, I'll ask them if we can have somebody f from the commission represent. Yeah. Would you be, be great? That's usually in the morning, uh, usually around 10 o'clock, if that's not, if that would be doable for somebody on the commission. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll work on that, see if we can get great. you included in the chain. Yeah, I, was, I was reading on uh, the VA's website yesterday about how to um, increase the use of the HUD-VASH program to end or to help all those folks are involved yeah. in that meeting. I'll, I'll get, I'll send it out um, I'll, probably tomorrow. That'd be great. I'm currently on the HUD bash. Oh. And I'm going there tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be great. 
more info, the better. <laughs> Absolutely terrific. Um, so did you have anything uh, to add with regard to the New England Bedford um, Boston VA? Again, that was just to try to uh, put together a meeting of, of all the, the groups, uh, all the different groups and, and come together and um, try to find out what everyone can do, what needs to be done, uh, where do we want to be in a few years, uh, what are the trends we're seeing. Um, there's, there's a lot of different uh, issues that are affecting the community, so uh, it's nice to get everybody in the same room and kind of uh, have that discussion. Absolutely, was, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Absolutely, I'm full, in full support of that, and you and I can talk offline um, you know, further about it as well. You also have the floor for um, what is next on our agenda, which is Facebook show, social media follow-up. I was just uh, wondering if anything was determined, or if we got any feedback. Nothing. So what nothing. I could do uh, is, we, we did pass a resolution, I think it was last meeting or two meetings ago and perhaps we could send a letter to the law department referring to the resolution and asking if there was any progress or any update that that would that would definitely help yeah that would be something we need to focus on you know in the, in the reason that I'm, I understand there's a lot of issues with social media and um, the the reasoning for getting a Facebook page for the Veterans Commission and for the veteran community in Lowell is that some of what has been said about social media being used as a tool to kind of sway people's opinions is true. Um, there are groups, and it was out in the veteran community a few years ago, they were talking about stay away from certain groups, stay away from certain people. And the goal here is to make sure that we're putting out good info for the guys and girls in the city so that they're not being misled. And if we take the forefront on that, I think that would be very important for the community. We have, we have, we have plenty of veterans in this community that use social media. So we, we need to be on there. We need to be a presence um, because it's true. There's a lot of disinformation that's out there. And, uh, you know, that's, that's part of the goal. And the other is to, to again, bring everybody together into, into the community and get them at these events. I'll send that note off to the law, to the law department. All right, terrific, thank you. Um, next, we have legislation. Um, under that, we have Adam and Jay. Either one of you want to speak with regard to that? We don't have much on the agenda. Uh, I can go second. On the, on the legislation, I, I think there are I think it's a good. I think it's a good idea to have some kind of liaison with the legislature. I think there are two things. Number one is, would we want to file anything for, to address any issues? And number two is, do we want to be aware of legislation that has been filed that might affect veterans? And that's probably going to happen. I don't know exactly what the calendar is, but at some point after the new legislature legislature is sworn in they will be presented with a deadline for filing bills. And sometime after that, I think it might not be a bad idea for somebody to advise us uh, as to what's pending, is there, is there anything that we should be heard on? I, I did speak with Senator-elect Kennedy, and he said he would be happy to have his office assist in doing that. Sure. And I know all of the, and I think the entire delegation uh, would, would 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 support any inquiries would support any inquiries like that. So, yeah. yes. Um, the Massachusetts Veterans Service Officer Association has um, a legislative committee, um, as well as the uh, Northeast Veterans. They uh, they break down within the um, different communities. Um, if you'd like, I could see if some uh, a representative, maybe the president of the Massachusetts Veterans Officer Association, would be willing to speak on current legislation. Um, they're constantly proposing new legislation. Yeah. Maybe, maybe keep us in the loop um, that way, yeah. or even by an email. If he's not able, he uh, the current president lives in Revere, I believe. So I'm not uh, a Quincy, um, but I'm not sure if he'd be able to come up. But he maybe provide a report. If you'd like me to ask, I could see if he would be willing to provide a legislative report. Yeah, that, that would definitely be helpful. That way we're not doing things over again. 
Okay. Or, or we're finding out that something that exists already that we've been thinking about. You know, it's nice to have that info up front. That would be great too. If not, I can forward it. Um, but I will. Um, I'll speak to. I'll speak to uh, the gentleman tomorrow and see if we can <coughs> at least get a current. Um, I'm not sure if he's the actual president of the legislative committee, mm -hmm. um, but they have. Everybody has subcommittees, and I'll find out uh, what's going on. Um, hopefully, definitely by the next meeting, but hopefully sooner than that. That'd be great inquiry through the chair. Yeah. Uh, what other cities are? To, uh, what other towns or cities ha currently have veterans commissions? I believe we are the only one. We are the only one. I thought I'd heard that another city was. Uh, they all have similar. Uh, there's there's a few. Uh, there's there's a number of um, cities and towns that have similar um, veterans councils, mm -hmm. at, like we do. But no one else. We're the first in the state. I, I think in this northeast, mm -hmm. at least, um, that has something to. Um, this nature. Excellent. And if I could uh, follow up on one thing, um, it kind of goes back a little bit. We, we were talking about email, and one of the things that I had, um, wanted to ask was, is it possible for the Veterans Commission, because we are considered to be employees, we have to follow open meeting laws and, and, and the such, is it possible for us to get city issued emails so that we can avoid any kind of issues with open meeting laws. I don't want to run afoul of any kind of rule. I will inquire with the MIS department. Excellent. Thank you. Last here we have communications information scheduled events, um, Pearl Harbor Day, I don't know, I really wanted to make it there, there but um, they changed our schedule at work and I started working the, um, the day shifts and so unfortunately I wasn't able to make it, but Jay, did you, were you able to attend the uh, Pearl Harbor I attended, uh, there? Bill, Bill, Bill uh, Flanagan was, was there as well, oh, it was, uh, you know, they, as, as, as usual, a, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice recognition of the uh, event and the, uh, and the people that served then, and, continue, and veterans generally. Uh, uh, the school choir didn't make it this year. I hope they'll be back. Uh, I hope they'll be back uh, next year. Now, it, it's a it's a, it's a nice ceremony. I j would just encourage anybody that's available for future events to uh, for future events to attend it. It's uh, uh, it's you know it, it's a good tribute to veterans, past and present. It's interesting. It's usually interesting historically too. Uh, so for for all of those for all of those reasons, I think it's a ceremony that should be attended. Continue. Thank you. It is it is a very nice event, um, which is another reason why I wanted to go. Uh, I've heard only great things about it. Uh, so hopefully next year. Um, next that we have was Army and Navy game, uh, which. I didn't know before. Maybe lost. Army. Oh. <laughs> 17 to 10. Oh, no. That was a very exciting game. 17 to 10. I would have I liked to it. catch that. I didn't know. Nice. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Next year. Right. Next year. Um, National Guard birthday coming up, 12-13. Uh, There's a birthday cake and gathering at the Drake Senior Center at noontime. On the on the thirteenth, so hopefully some of us will be able to make that. Yeah. So excuse me. Uh, at the uh, Pearl Harbor Day, the, the new Drake Service Officer, Federal Service Officer, was there, and he mentioned that he will try to create events at the Drake Veterans Office to recognize all the services. Jay and I were talking to him, and one of the things that he's going to be doing is to recognize all the services on the anniversary of their creation. And the first thing he's doing is having a National Guard birthday day on the 13th. Mm -hmm. He's going to do the same thing for the Navy, the Army, the Marine Corps, the Air Force. So on all the anniversaries, there'll be birthdays. Birthday cake. Um, so. I know the Air Force. I know when the Air Force is. When's the Army? 
It's in June, I know that. So, is the one in June? The Marine Corps is November. Wow. When is the Navy? Wow. We actually, I, th I think it was last year, the Army birthday actually fell on a meeting night, and we did a, we did have a resolution, resolution, but you, but we could we could certainly do that for other services, for the date that's closest to the uh, meeting. Right, so that's what he wants to start to do. So there'll be more coming. Oh. Uh, he seems to be very. Uh, have you met him, Eric? I have not. Yeah. Yeah. He's fairly. He's on board fairly recently. I think. We were both at training together recently, and I didn't have the opportunity to meet him. But anyway, he is. But anyway, tomorrow he is having the uh, on the thirteenth, rather he is having. They're having the cake, yeah. and anybody's welcome. It's at noon at the senior center. Yeah. Um, so. Absolutely. He was quite eloquent. He spoke from the heart right. in everything he said. And he didn't have a written script. He couldn't remember what he said. And it really surprised me, uh, the words that he said. Mm -hmm. uh, unbelievable. My, my recommendation that uh, that the people attend that was not just to, just addressed to veterans commissioners, but to uh, other veterans who other veterans and and the public at large. It was a terrific event. It, it was very emotional, especially with the students singing. It was yes, it was very it was done very well. I commended uh, Matt uh, afterwards after the ceremony. He did a wonderful job. I, I would. I really encourage us to kind of join forces with him if we could. Um, he certainly has the uh, experience and um, you know the knowledge and and practice of getting you know things like that together. So um, we really should in the future kind of join forces with him. But um, with just about seven minutes left here, uh, I think last words that I would like to just um, leave us with uh, is to kind of go back to the Veterans of the Month outreach. Um, I should have mentioned it while we were speaking of it, but um, I'd really love to see that get back on track. We've, we've gotten way off track with that. Um, I still have two veterans that are, I already have bios for um, just waiting for a ceremony to be done. And so uh, right now it's, it's a busy time. Um, everybody's schedules with a holiday and everything else, but I certainly would like to um, get us back on track with that uh, after the new year and hopefully, possibly, if we can swing it January, if not February, to have another ceremony to recognize, if not more veterans than the two that we have, then at least those two. But I'd like to get that back on back on board. So, Agreed. If, unless there's anything else that anybody would like to add, um, so we can go ahead and adjourn the meeting. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. All right. Aye. Adjourned. Yes. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, absolutely. Oh. Terrific. Thank you, thank you.